All right, what's up guys? I'm gonna be talking about uh, this Trump situation. Uh, I was driving while um, while it happened. I wanted to make a video, but making a video in my car would kind of be, it was traffic and stuff like that, so I didn't want to, you know, whatever. Uh, but I watched the tape over and over again. Y'all know me, man. I don't mean to be that guy, but I, I, it looks like a stage to me. Um, you know, you see Elon Musk on Twitter propping up um, Donald Trump. He says he's voting for him. Um, we, we all know, um, or, you know, those who are awakened know Elon Musk is a part of the other team. Uh, you know, he's, you know, how the world pushes, oh, he's promoting truth, free speech, you know, him buying Twitter. You guys, he's, he works for the, the U's, all right? Replace the Y with the J. That's who he works for. Same thing with Trump. Same thing with Trump, guys. Um, man, the mass deception is crazy. You even have people, guys, <laughs> this is insane. People aligning what happened with Trump to Bible scriptures. That's, I, I don't believe it. Now, I've read the verse, and I just, I don't think it aligns to what just took place, okay? Um, you know, a lot of people are really looking up to Donald Trump to save him, the savior. You know, I see a lot of people tweeting on Twitter, you know, saying that Donald Trump is the only hope for America. This is crazy, man. This is what they're saying, guys. No, no, no hope in God. No hope in, you know, Jesus Christ. No hope in him. But hope in Donald Trump. So let's see how this ends, guys. Let's see how this ends. We know what the Bible says. We know what the spiritual law says. The person who puts his trust under a man will, is under a curse. All right. Um, now, if Trump does get elected, now I'm hearing, I'm hearing that Michelle Obama, some call her Mike Michael because some people believe that. <laughs> some people believe it's a man. I personally believe it's a woman. I could be wrong. Who knows? The deception is crazy. But it doesn't even matter if it's a man or woman. But a lot of people are saying that uh, Michelle Obama is going to run because you all see what, what's happening with Biden. Um, he's getting older. People are saying he has dementia. He can barely talk, can barely speak, can barely walk. So they were saying that there's going to be a replacement being Michelle Obama. Now, uh, Michelle Obama did come out a couple of days ago and she said that she has no intentions of running for president. I don't believe it. We'll see. Because Obama had two terms. He's having the third term through Biden. And if, you know, Michelle Obama comes in, he will have his fourth and fifth term, a term is going to keep on repeating. So uh, don't don't be surprised for that, dude, for you guys to hear Michelle Obama running for office. Now, uh, now, if Biden stays and it's pretty clear Trump's going to win. But I mean, a lot of people are putting their faith and in, in, in trust in Trump, man. I mean, it's crazy, guys. Anyone anytime, guys, I see everybody put their faith and trust into, into someone. I do the opposite. I do the complete opposite. Now, don't get it wrong. If someone would have put a gun to my head and say, hey, who are you going to vote for, Trump or Biden? Without hesitation, I'm voting for Trump. But that doesn't mean I'm putting my trust in him. That doesn't mean he's the only hope for America. This is this is how fallen America Babylon is. That this is what people believe. It's usually Gentiles. It's usually, you know, it's usually, you know, their kind, you know, who are just so driven for this guy, you know. But I guess we'll have to see now my personal opinion. My personal belief, I, I watched it over uh, over and over again. I watched different scenes. I'm seeing photos. Of, if, if Trump didn't turn right, the bullet would have hit him. It's just, I don't know, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I don't know. You know, I, I, I just don't know. Now, I'm hearing Trump is also going to be appearing in the UFC tonight. It's going to be in a couple hours. He's going to be in the crowd. So it's just like just entertainment, guys. I mean, you got to look at this all as entertainment. Now, I'm not rejoicing in what just happened to him. If it is real... You know, now I do believe in assassination attempts. I do believe, you know, that happened to JFK. You know, now I believe what happened to JFK was actually real because JFK wasn't trying to work for the U's. He was going against them. Okay, every time I say U's, people will be like, Mark, you know, who are you talking to? Use your head. Okay, like I said, replace the Y with the J. All right, that's speaking code. All right, so um, that's who runs the show, guys. There is no deep state. There is no, um, what's the other thing they say? is deep state and then... Um, there's another thing they say, deep state and um, oh the, the uh, cabal. There you go. There the cabal. There's there's none of that, guys. Who's running this whole thing? Is the use? They're running it all. The synagogue is Satan, man. We gotta just call it how it is. They put these words, guys, to keep the people in their carnality. To keep the people driven by and not not the truth. Okay, we gotta just call it how it is. Who's running the show? The synagogue of Satan. The use. They are running it all, guys. All right, there is no cabal, there is no deep state, there is no, all these new words I'm hearing, the elites and all that. No, and if someone isn't a you, 
their handler is one, okay? It's all just a show, guys. Are you enjoying the show? I just had some angry chickens. I'm enjoying the show. I've got made sure to eat, so, you know? Only thing I'm missing is probably a beer. <laughs> That's probably the only thing I'm missing, man. You know, so like I said, guys, let me know in the comments. What do you believe took place? Personally, my opinion, my honest opinion. Uh, it's all staged. It's all rigged. It's all fake, guys. It's all fake. Uh, now, I remember seeing the Simpson episode of Donald Trump in a casket. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Well, they put, they showed Donald Trump in a casket. This is back in 2020. People were thinking that he was going to die back then. Or actually, no, it was 2016 when he first got elected. A lot of people thought he was going to happen right there or die back then. Uh, like I said, let me make this very clear. I don't wish death on no man. Not on Trump, not on Biden, none of them. What, did I, what do you gain? I see a lot of people rejoicing. A lot of people mad that he didn't get taken out. It's just evil, man. These people are evil. Okay? Um, and it's just, you know, like I said, guys, I watched it over and over again. I really don't want to be that person who's like, oh, it's stage, it's fake, you know? But I'm looking, it just doesn't, he got back up and put his, like, come on, that's an old dude. Trump's about to hit 80. He just got, back, like, I don't know, guys. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, bro. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm out. Peace.